Despite with help from Contact 7, you called us concerned about low-flying helicopters in your neighborhood late at night. Good evening. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. And if you take a look at this map behind us, these are the neighborhoods where we've gotten your calls. They include Arvada, Aurora, downtown Denver, Glendale, Stapleton, Wash Park. And so we went looking for answers. Contact 7's Jacqueline Allen is live with who is behind the flights and Jacqueline, why they're not going away anytime soon. That's right. We just got some breaking details on this. These are Black Hawk helicopters out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky that are doing routine training exercises here in Colorado and expect this to continue for at least the next few nights through Saturday. We have been getting to the bottom of what has been shaking up the sky for a lot of people. When police departments from Denver to Westminster started tweeting about loud, low-flying choppers last night, you know they were getting calls, and so were we, from people like Maggie. I would hear uh, a very loud machine, sounded like a very low-flying aircraft, and I would rush to the front door to see if I could see it. I never did. So we started checking with everyone from Buckley Air Force Base to the Pentagon, even Arvada police weighed in. It's military aircraft, helicopters, coming in, landing, refueling, and then moving back out. I think what spikes some of our concern with the citizens is it sounds like they're really low, but these are incredibly big helicopters. Special Operations says it's similar to a training exercise that happened in L.A. last week and got a lot of attention, and it will be going on at night to enhance our nation's readiness. So this happened at Rocky Mountain Metro Airport, but they said that locations may change. They were pretty tight lipped, but it should be quiet after Saturday. Now, one big tip, though, they got so many 911 calls across the Denver Metro last night. They're saying, please don't call us about this. It's safe and we don't want to back up emergency operations. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. All right. Good to know. Thank you, Jacqueline.